16 men have qualified for the world championships in Quebec City, Canada. But only one can leave with the title. Two grueling events. Super yoke and log for Max Wake. Personal best will be beat. And world records will shatter. The 410 kilo, 903 pound super yoke will test the limits of these strongmen. The log for Max Weight will push these athletes to their breaking point. Get ready for some serious action. Some of the greatest battles and wars have been fought right here, but there's one more battle. The IFSA World Championships from Quebec City, Canada. 16 men, eight grueling events. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson. Joining me, my partner, former world champion, Jamie Reeves. Jamie, will anybody be able to stop Zadruna Savickas? Well, the strongest guys in the world are here, Doug. We've got the Pan American champion, Phil Fister, the World Open champion, Mikhail Kokleyev, and the current world champion, Vasil Varasjo. The two questions on everybody's lips, who can stop Sidrana Savikas, and how many world records are gonna fall? How many records indeed? The Super Yoke, athletes must shoulder 410 kilos, over 900 pounds over a 30 meter course in 75 seconds. The first two gladiators at the World Championships, the rookie and the European champion. Travis Ortmeyer from Houston, Texas. Zadruna Savickas. Savickas used to hold the world record, and he has a tremendous record in this event. He does indeed, and he's got a tremendous record overall this year. Nobody has beat Savickas so far. We've talked about Savickas being an all-round decathlon of strength, and he surely is. He's a three-time Arnold winner. He's won everything so far this year. He's broke world records in the log lift, the yoke race, and Travis Ortmeyer has got a lot on his plate here to keep up with Savickas, Doug. Well, Ortmeyer probably would like to just post a very good time, pick up some points in the standings, and set himself up for future events. Look at Savickas come flying out of the gate. Zatruna Savickas moving up to the midway point. He's Ort actually sprinting, Doug, with 410 kilograms. He's already five meters from the line. This is a fantastic time. Zatruna Savickas. Savickas may have just set a new world record. He absolutely flew down that course, Doug. It was accelerating. He was nearly sprinting towards the end. I think Savickas has made his intentions clear here. He's going to try and destroy all this field. Travis Ortmeyer with the final two meters to go now. And a good workmanlike effort. He's got to get the second part across. Ortmeyer having trouble lifting it up and finally slides it across. That could be a costly few seconds, Jamie. Yeah, very difficult for Travis, but he's come through. He's finished the course. Jamie, quickly take us through Savickas' run. Wow, he, he just picks up at the whistle. Sets off, you can see he looks comfortable carrying this kind of weight. This is 903 pounds, 410 kilos, and Savickas is moving faster and faster and accelerating through for a new world record. Satruna Savickas with a new world record here in Quebec City. 16.15 seconds, Travis Ortmeyer, 41.50 seconds. That'll put him about middle of the pack thus far. Next up, the Latvian legend and the current world champion. So Raymond's Bergman is sub Latvia. It is Vasil Vereschuk of the Ukraine, the only man, Jamie, that may be able to take on Zatruna Savikas. Indeed, he's very fast at this. It's his favorite event. 
tentative start, but look at Marischuk. Oh, he's picked it up through the first 10 meters of the course. Marischuk flying through the midway point. Coming up now on the final 10 meters. Vasil Marischuk toward the finish line. Looking to stop the clock in world record time. And he's just off the pace. Here comes Raymond Sparkmanis. Five meters to go. Fantastic time from Boris Chuk. Rafael has been picked by Savikas. Raymond Bergmanis comes in there. Both pretty good times, though. That'll keep him up there in the top of the field, dog. Well, Basil Vereschuk with a superior effort will put him in second spot. 17.31 seconds, Jamie. Yeah, you can see he flies again. Out of the start, coming down. Just seems to lose his balance a little bit past the midway point. Gets his balance back, accelerates to the finish line, and nonetheless, a terrific time. A very, very good time for Vasil Vereschuk, as well as Raymond Borgmanis of Latvia. Vasil Vereschuk just off world record pace, 17.31 seconds. That will currently put him in second spot. Raymond Borgmanis, a good time as well, 28.83 seconds. For the Super Yoke. It's Andrus Pudermetz, the Estonian policeman, taking on IFSA's fastest rising star, Mikhail Kuklaya. Quebec City is the proud host to the IFSA World Championship. 16 of the world's top athletes representing 12 countries, all with one single goal in mind, the IFSA World Championships, eight grueling events, who will prove to be the strongest man on the planet. Now, a battle of the rising stars in the Super Yoke. The Estonian policeman, Andrus Muramets, goes up against Russia's Mikhail Kuklaev in this battle. Take your position. This is a first world championships for both men. Three, two, one. Muramets gets it off the ground first. He's got a good pace going out of the gate. Kuklia slow and steady through the first five meters. Muramets at the midway point. Good choke from Andrus Muramets with 10 meters to go. Kuklia with a put down. Muramets with five meters to go. At the finish line, slides it across. Uh, good time from Muramets here. Kuklia struggling a little bit. This is not his favorite event. Once again, a very tall guy around 6'3". Struggling, he's got to finish here, he knows he needs the points. Mikhail Kuklia through the finish line, stopping the clock. Well, Kuklia's happy to finish, but I'm sure the happier of the two will be Andres Murimets. That'll keep him up there with the leaders, Doug, that time. Well, Andres Murimets with a big effort from the 27-year-old Estonian, 19.72 seconds. That will currently sit him in third spot. Mikhail Kokliev at 38.75. Muramets is on the floor with Tammy. Congratulations, you're in third place. Have you put on size since Latvia? Yes, a little bit. One and a half kilogram, maybe. And uh, uh, more stronger in squat. And it uh, helps a little bit. My time was uh, record. Last record, 26. And now six seconds better. Third place is very good. Awesome, good job. Up now, the Finnish Beach Boy takes on the Polish Powerhouse. Finland's Tomi Lota, Poland's Robert Szepanski. They are the final two to go. Let's see if he can challenge those leading times. Also a tough go for Tomi Lota, simply because of his height. Yeah, Tomi, another tall guy, 6'4". But he's proved before that he can lift these yokes and he can move Two, fast. One. Let's see if Tommy's got any better. Szepanski's off to a flying start, though. He sure is. Through the first five meters relatively quickly. Lota, a little bit off course, at 10 meters has knocked both of the markers down. Well, Szepanski's flying down here. This is going to get him up in the top places. Szepanski hangs on to it through the finish line. Lota with five meters to go. Tommy Lota, still a good effort as well. Oh. 
Robert Champanski a time of 18.59 seconds. And on the replay, Jamie, he came out of the gate flying. Well, he comes out of the blocks here, accelerating. We knew Chapansky was capable of going under 20 seconds. Doesn't look under stress at all, looks very controlled over the finish line, and that's progress for Chapansky. Faster than last time, and that gets him right up there with the leaders. Robert Chapansky, 18.59 seconds. Tommy Lota, a time of 25. 0.63 seconds, two very solid efforts. Chapansky takes over third spot from Andrus Muramets. Through one event at the World Championships, Muramets sits in fourth spot, Chapansky in third, former world champion Beneschuk in second, and Savickas leads the way. Prepare for the log lift for Max Wade. Russia's Mikhail Kuklaev, Lithuania's Vitas Plakatis, can Blakatis hold on as the ultimate battle continues? It's a strong man. It's uh, the best athletes around the world who come together in one federation. It's the world championships. You know, it's the top of the top. It's the pinnacle. It's what we do. I'm probably the joke right now that why the hell is this guy here? I can only go up. Let's put it that way. There's no, I'm at the bottom, now I gotta work my way to the top. <laughs> I'm thinking as a rookie, it would be an outstanding performance if I took top five, especially with the field here, because these are the best of the best. It's gonna be a, an intense battle to the last event. The log lift for max weight starts at 140 kilos, 308 pounds. The world record sits at 202 and a half kilos, 446 pounds. How high can they go? Here's the first man to take on the log lift for max weight. Travis Ortmeier at 140 kilos. Ortmeier limping a little bit. You wonder if the yoke played a little havoc with his body. Well, running 30 meters with 410 kilograms, it's got to find a weak spot in everybody. Ortmeier up at 140, a little bit unstable. Gets the signal. Good opening left for Ortmeier. Travis Ortmeier, one of those competitors that when he psychs himself up big, he can certainly come through. That brings up Mikhail Kokliev. This is a part of the competition where he excels. Yeah, Kotliev, the World Open strongman champion. It doesn't favor technique, just raw strength and brute power. Kotliev stepping up to take on 160 kilos. Lift. Laps it, rolls it to the chest with relative ease. Kotliev splits and powers it up. Well, we saw Kotliev before with the log previous competitions and he struggled at 160 kilograms you can only think he's another guy that's gone away and done all his homework Doug that looked very easy the Finnish Beach Boy looking to make some headway in the standing there's Finland's Tommy Lota 150 kilos Look. Most of these guys are experienced. They've got to blank that out. I think Lotter has done because he's come with a nice, easy lift there. They've really got to be focused, not worry about what anybody else is doing, and just get to the maximum weight in those three attempts. Next up, another Scandinavian. They call him Viking Power. Sven Carlson sitting in his 10th World Championship. Lift. You know he's been, at this point in time, quite often. Gets it to the shoulder, struggling a little bit to maintain balance. Carlson can't press it out, and he drops the log. Well, Carlson said after the York race, he felt a twinge in his knee. And you can see on the replay of this, when he tries to clean it, it doesn't look like he's using his legs. And you can only think that at injury, he really felt it on that attempt, Doug. This is Estonia's Andrus Muramets, the strongest cop on the planet. Tightening up the log. Muramets is well at 160 kilos. 
Here's one of Metz at 160 Woo. kilograms. Oh, nice easily clean. to the chest. Mittermetz now to the press. He missed it there, mistimed the press a little bit. Here he goes again. Able to recover and gets the clean press. Nice second effort from Andrus Mittermetz. And now it's Vitas Blakadis, the Lithuanian Powerball. Also at 170, the final man to attempt this weight. Well, here's another guy, Blakaitis, who looked very comfortable in the first round. Take a grip. But we've seen so many lifters miss their attempts in this second round. Trying to struggle to hang on, he lost the log and drops it. We've seen so many lifters come undone in this second round of lifting. And here's another one, Bakaitis. And it's all over for Bakaitis in this second lift. He will walk away very disappointed, unsuccessful at 170. Just look at Bakaitis. He tries to press it out, his left arm starts to come down and the log goes over to the left-hand side. Lakatis failing to lock out at 170 kilos. The world record holder, Sejunas Sebek, is still to come. Quebec City is the proud host to the IFSA World Championship. The weight on the max log moves to 180 kilos, 398 pounds, and there is the world record holder, Zadrunas Savickas of Lithuania. The current leader at the World Championships, setting the world record in Riga, Latvia. Savickas steps right up. Look. Here goes the world record holder, Savikas, at 180 kilograms. Wow, that looks easy. Absolutely no problem for Zadruna Savikas at 180. He'll pretty much call it. Just look at this lift again from Savikas. It looks effortless, just an easy press out at 180 kilograms. Now the third and final attempt for the rookie from Houston, Texas. So the third and final attempt for Travis Ortmeyer as he steps up at 150 kilos. And after we saw him, Jamie, in the first go round at 150, you got to believe this young man needed to recollect his thoughts and come out one more time swinging. He did indeed. It's going to be an uphill struggle now for Travis Ortmeyer to get this. It looks like a better clean. And he pressed and he's it out. fighting it out now. Great lift in there from Ortmeier. That's a good lift. Ortmeier has to be happy. Finishing off 150 kilos. Dolan's on home soil and wants to put on a show for Quebec. Canada's Jeff Dolan unsuccessful at 160 in his second attempt. This is his third attempt now at 160. Well, this is a lift that's well within Jeff's capabilities. Come on, Jeff. Nice and smooth to the shoulders. Hometown crowd trying to help out Jeff Dolan. Again, quite a bit of time. Dolan powers it up, and he's good at 160 kilos. And Dolan has to be happy with that effort. Yeah, Dolan really got it all together on that lift. We see here, very smooth, clean, a weightlifting split, locks it out, gets stable and his feet in line and gets the signal from Dr. Douglas Edmonds. You missed the 160 on your second attempt. What made the difference during that third attempt? Uh, desperation is do or die. I had plans for a 170 when I got here, but I think that uh, 920 yoke took something out of me. I, I really needed that 160 on my third attempt. I would have been done. You did, and the fans were, that's got to motivate you, the fans. Yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself in front of a home crowd, so. Well, you're definitely not. Thank you, Jeff. Russia's forced to be reckoned with in strongman. 
27-year-old Mikhail Kuklaev set to take on the 170-kilo log. Well, this is the weight he failed in the second round. Better clean from Kuklaev. Goes with the splits and powers it up. Kuklaev good at 170. Good left in there from Kuklaev. You can see on the replay. He got his technique right, and that looked very easily there. Mikhail Kuklaya, very good at 170, and that will move him up the leaderboard. Now, the last man to qualify for the World Championships in Quebec City. Vitas Plaqueta steps up at 170 kilos, and he can join Mikhail Kuklaya as the only two men to be successful at 170, now in their third attempt. Well, Blakaitis was all over on his second attempt. Can he get it right here? Much quicker to the chest, Jamie. And a better press, that's a good lift. Good lift in there from Blakaitis. He's got it right on his third attempt, and he's delighted with that. Boy, the technique was almost perfect. Yeah, we just look at it again, it's smooth, it's stable, the press is nice and clean, the lockout's clean. Good lifting from Brachitis. Now it's time for the Latvian legend. Jamie Raymond's Sportman is coming in at 175 and a real veteran move. He knows this will guarantee him third spot and it is not a max weight for him. So he will be saving something for future events. Maybe, but it's a pressure lift all the same. This dog, it's a very clean. Oh, and a nice press for Bert Manis. He'll be delighted with this lift. That will give Ray Bert Manis third place points. Raymond's Bert Manis guarantees himself third place points at 175. The only man thus far to get up that high. Showing some true emotion. Now it's Vasil Vedaschuk of the Ukraine. The man they're all looking to beat, the current world champion. He's jumped the log to 190 kilos. Yeah, this is a crucial lift for Vereschuk because it guarantees him at least second place and puts a lot of pressure on Savikas, who's the next lifter out at 192 and a half. Vereschuk's looked very comfortable so far in the log lift. Take your grip. Vereshchuk steps up. A very determined look on his face. This is huge lift in this. 190 kilograms. Fighting for the clean, Vereshchuk. Can he power it up from the chest? Vasil Vereshchuk locking out 190 to the delight of the crowd here in Quebec City. Well, that lift puts the pressure on Savikas now. Just look at that. He struggled a little bit on the clean, but the press was no problem, and he was delighted with that. The big Z, Zadrunas Savickis. Can the world record holder take it away from the world champion? Flying out of the gate, getting set to take on 192.5 kilos, 10 kilos off his world record, but this will be good enough to give him the win here at the world championships. Looks so powerful here, Savikas. Easy clean, easy press, and that's two wins out of two for Zadrunas Savikas. Absolutely fabulous for Zadrunas Savikas. Just look at this again. It was so easy. The clean was easy. He didn't even wait for the press. Just powers it out. 192 and a half, good enough for the overall victory in the log for Max Wade for Zadruna Savickas, his second consecutive win. He's on the floor and he's got to be smiling with Tammy Tyson. Yes, your second win of the competition. Do you think you're going to take all the events? Uh, it's very hard to win all events, but I have to, to, to do my best in all events. And if I do not make mistake, maybe I can win. Good luck, thank you.
through two events here in Quebec City. Only a point and a half separates third through fifth spot. Current world champion Vasil Vanischuk has 30 points. Savek is in first with 32. The Latvian legend, Raymond Burgmanis. How many more opportunities will be afforded for the big man to take home a world championship? Burgmanis is running out of time. Andrus Mutermets is moving up the scale as is Vitas Blakatis. Blakatis will put on a show. He's been consistent, but can he track down the current world champion, Vasil Fetischuk? Fetischuk knows what it takes to win, and he knows how to be on top. But Savickas leads the way. Everybody's looking to take down the Big Z. 16 athletes representing 12 countries, all with one goal, to see who will be the next IFSA world champion. The first two events of the world championships are history. Sajurna Savickas has shattered the world record in the super yoke, and personal bests were achieved. Now get ready for the next two events. 16 men battling for one world championship title. Two heart pounding events left. The Conan's wheel and the deadlift. World records will shatter. Welcome to picturesque and historic Quebec City, Canada. This is the IFSA World Championships. They've been dominated by Eastern European countries all season long, but the Pan Am Championships saw a different side of IFSA strongmen. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson. Joining me, my partner, former world champion, Jamie Reeves. Jamie, can any of the Pan Am champions take out Sejuna Savickas? Well, maybe Phil Fister. We saw him destroy Everybody in the Pan Americans, this giant American, six foot five, 330 pounds. This is the first time he's going up against these Eastern Europeans. I'm looking forward to this clash, Doug. It should be a colossal battle. Conan's wheel. Athletes go for total distance over 75 seconds. One revolution is 30 meters. Robert Szczepanski of Poland set the take on Conan's wheel. He qualified for the World Championships by virtue of a third place finish at the World Open in Brazil. What can the Polish powerhouse do here? We've seen him excel at this event before. And another guy that needs the points to stay in touch with Savickas and Varaschuk here. And he's out very, very fast, Szczepanski. And that's one lap, and he's really smoking now, Doug. Kapanski coming up on his second revolution with relative ease. He hasn't slowed down a lick. This is tremendous from Szczepanski. Short breaths there. That's coming up to three revolutions here. He's taken the overall lead so far. Szczepanski threw his third revolution. Three and a quarter under his belt and a put down. Well done, Robert Szczepanski. That's just what he needed. Let's take another look at that here. You can see the speed is traveling with this Conan's wheel. With a distance of 98.1 meters from Robert Szczepanski of Poland. Now the favorite, American Philip Pfister. Jamie, this is a guy we've been waiting for because if anybody's gonna crack 100 meters this afternoon, it will be this man. It will indeed, Doug Pfister. This is one of his favorite events. We said the, mobi the mobility events, he'll come through. Not so strong at the statics, he's just got a hold in there. So let's see how he does now on his favorite event. Here goes Big Phil Fister. Right at the end of the bar, Phil Fister quickly through his first revolution as he comes up on 30 meters. 
Well, he's such a big man, Phil Fister. Each stride, he must be covering at least close to a metre. Second revolution under his belt. Oh, he's starting to slow down now, Jamie. He is, he looks like he's in some distress here, Phil Fister. This is a surprise for the big American. Absolutely, will he get to three revolutions? Fister crosses the third. Each step now, total pain in the face of Philip Fister. Three and a quarter, and a put down. Well, has Fister done enough to get near Robert Schapansky? It's going to be very close. I'll tell you, Jamie, I think he's overtaken Chapansky for the lead with that mark. Well, Fist is absolutely exhausted. The last 15 metres of that, you can see, is in real distress, real pain. He's just clinging on and fighting because he wants that win. Philip Fister with a great distance of 99.15 metres just shy of the magic 100 meter barrier. Fister leads the way, but still to come. Some stiff competition from Russia's Mikhail Kuklaya, Petus Blakanis, and Raymond Bergmanis of Latvia. Quebec City is the proud host to the IFSA World Championship. The next man to take on the World Championship, Conan's wheel, Lithuania's Venus Plakatis. Can he surprise the competition? Told by the referee, Magnus for Magnuson to readjust his belt, make sure he's not able to sit the apparatus on the top of the belt. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys look to try and rest it on the buckle at the end to gain a few extra meters. Look at Plakatis come out flying. Well, he really is moving, Doug. That's one lap already. Heavy breathing, trying to get some oxygen in the lungs. Placatus struggling through his second revolution. So far, so good here for the big Lithuanian. Two and a half down. Placatus coming up on number three. Well, can Placatus get the lead here? He's fighting. A couple more steps for Venus Placatus. He has the lead. He will be about a meter in front. Well, I'm sure he's gone past 100 meters here, Blakaitis. Well, we knew Philip Fister was going to put on a show, but Venus Blakaitis comes out of nowhere in Conan's wheel. We take a look at this again. Just look at the speed of Blakaitis. He's whizzing round, really motoring, gets up to 90 meters, and he clings on, holds on to beat Schapansky and Lotta and going to the lead. Venus Blakatis, the first man to go over 100 meters, knocking off Philip Fister's distance of 99.15. Blakatis comes in at 100.3 meters, a tremendous effort. How will this talented rookie follow that effort? 27-year-old Russian Mikhail Kokleyev steps up to take on Conan's wheel. Well, Kokleyev really needs a good score here. We thought he'd be up there in the top five. He can't let them leaders get away from him now, Leclerc. He's really got to stay in touch now on this Conan's wheel. That's one revolution completed. Leclerc starting to slow down a little bit, heading for his second revolution. Completed, now he moves on to his third. Well, it's dropping very low now on Kotlaev. But he's still going. Can he get to 90? The big Russian super heavyweight weightlifter. Yes, he can. Through 90 meters, and look at this one step after another. Kotlaev just comes up short of 97 and a half. Very happy with that, Kotlaev. That Effort will put Mikhail Kuklaev in the top five of Conan's wheel. Mikhail Kuklaev with a distance of 96.35 meters. That moves him in the top five so far in Conan's wheel. <laughs> Latvia's Raymond Bergmanis qualified from his home soil of Riga, Latvia. Bergmanis has been through this many times before, Jamie. Yep. 
Yeah, he's a seasoned athlete, Bergmanis. This is a good event for him, too. And here's another guy that's got to really fight now to get a good distance to stay in touch with those leaders. A little bit of a slow start, but he came out and picked up the pace at the end of the first revolution. So far, so good for Bergmanis. This is number two. Look at the strain in his face, trying to breathe, get oxygen in the lungs. He's got to not let that bar slip down. He's slowing a little bit here, Raymonds, but he's fighting it. This is just the same as Kutlaev did to get to 90 metres. He's at 90 metres. Bergmanis, one step ahead of the competition to 97 and a half. He'll put it down just past 97 and a half. Solid effort from Latvia's Raymond Bukmanis. Well, he put everything he had into that there. He's coming up to 90 metres here, and it looks like it could go down at any time here, but he fights and fights and fights. And that's a fantastic effort from Bergmanis. That's just what he needed. Ray Bergmanis with a great second effort picking up. A few extra meters, which can mean crucial points in the standing. Raymond's Bergmanis with a distance of 98.5 meters. And once again, another man joining the upper echelon of Conan's wheel. Coming up at the World Championships in Quebec City, we shatter world records in the 705 pound deadlift. The battle continues. He's already five meters from the line. This is a fantastic time. Zafikis may have just set a new world record. Vasil Vereschuk locking out 190 to the delight of the crowd here in Quebec City. A couple more steps for Venus Makaitis. He has the lead. The first man to go over 100 meters. The deadlift for repetition. The world record sitting at eight reps. 320 kilos, 705 pounds, a time limit of 75 seconds. Here comes the powerhouse from Grenada in his best event. Here's Mark Felix of Grenada to take on the Louis Sear deadlift. Eight repetitions set by Mikhail Kokliev is the world record in this event. A 75 second time limit. For Mark Felix, can he crack the world record? 320 kilos, 705 pounds. Yeah, 705 pounds, Doug. 320 kilograms, 75 second time limit. The deadlift, it's all about back, hips and legs. Planting your feet down. This is static strength at its purest. Ready. Going well so far, Felix, that's two. two. Excellent performance so far for Felix. What a job from Mark Felix. He just got his eyes focused right on Dr. Douglas Edmonds. Oh, but down he goes. Struggling a little bit for the lockdown, but nonetheless a good lift. This is the best showing so far from the big grenade Mark Felix. This is for the record. Can Felix get it up? Can he get nine? New world record for Mark Felix. He's got enough time left on the clock to put a tenth rep up, Jamie. Well, we didn't think anybody could get ten. Can Felix? He's happy with that. A world record of nine repetitions for Mark Felix. Still with 10 seconds left on the clock of his 75 second time limit. And that's it, Mark Felix says. That's a great performance. And even referee Dr. Douglas Edmonds says, Well done to Mark Felix. Terrific performance. If we just look at that again on the replay, Doug, those first few repetitions, plenty of power there from Felix. Good rhythm. And that's his best showing so far. What a job from Grenada's Mark Felix putting on a show at the World Championships in Quebec City, Canada, setting a world record of nine repetitions. He's on the floor with Tammy Tyson.
Mark, a new world record. Yes, a new world record. I'm happy with that. It's, um, it's great. You know, I, re I wanted to get 10, but I end up with 9. <laughs> but you're happy with that, aren't you? With that, yeah. I run it up for a bit, so I'm happy. Good job. Thank you. Already with two world records to his credit, can Sabikas add another to his collection? Well, after taking the first two events consecutively, the third event may have been a slight downfall for Sadruna Savickas. He was the overall leader and has lost that lead to Vitas Blakaitis. We'll see if he can get it back here, Jamie, in the deadlift. Lift. Well, that left looked very easy there for Savickas. Savickas has done seven reps with this before. There's three quick ones for Savickas. Will he try to track down Mark Felix's record? Looking good here, the big Lithuanian. And he's got a lot of time left here. Effortlessly through five reps with 45 seconds to go. There's number six, Jamie. Looking very good, Doug, so far. Maybe he'll take a break now. Still 35 seconds left on the clock for Savickas. Still looking smooth, this lift in here. Savickas, one of the best power lifters in the world. One of the best strongmen in the world. Savickas gets it up. Locks it out. 20 seconds left on the clock. The crowd starting to stand here. Remember, if Savickas wants the world record, he's got to get 10. The first guy to get nine holds the record, and that's Felix. But he's run out of time now. There's only one second left. But that's a terrific performance from Zidrunas. What a job from the big Z, Zidrunas Savickas, putting on a clinic for deadlifters around the world. The current world champion looking to hang on to his crown. 28-year-old Ukrainian Vasil Vereschuk. And Vereschuk knows this is not his best part of the competition. He needs to put up a respectful number to maintain some of his top positioning. He does, Doug. Before his bicep injury, his deadlift was coming on. Let's see what he can do here. 320 kilos. It's a 75 second time limit. The clock has started. Better's just one rep to his credit. There's his second one. Well, he doesn't look as smooth as Felix and Savickas. Taking his time here, Varas Chuck. He knows it's a difficult event for him. If Basil could put up five or six reps, that's a solid effort. It is indeed, but he's struggling now. Oh, and it looks like he's got an injury in his back here, Varas Chuck. This could be a disaster for the big Ukrainian. Only two repetitions, still 42 seconds left on the clock. Looks like he may have even pulled a ribcage muscle. Well, he goes for that third rep, and you can see him wincing pain, drop the weight, trying to stretch it out. I think he must have felt something crack or tear, but it looks like Vasil has sustained an injury. Two repetitions for Vasil Vereschuk. That could be devastating to his chances at maintaining his world championship status. Savickas has already set a world record here in the deadlift. Kuklaev and Berkman is still to come, looking to erase that mark. Quebec City is the proud host to the IFSA World Championship. I like power. I like blood on uh, equipment. Win or die. I like this. When I think about World Championship, now I smile a little bit now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because I'm Russian. <laughs> Young, powerful, charismatic, unpredictable. A former world record holder. Can he take it back from Savikin? Let's see if he can get it back, Doug. Well, here's the thing. The deadlift record that he'd set at eight reps was beaten twice today. It just shows you, Doug. Ready. A lot of these guys have turned up Let's... in tip-top shape to this world championships. 
Here goes Kotlaya. Nice and smooth opening play. Sat nice and deep. Look how straight that back gets for Mikhail Kotlaya. That's three. There's, there's the fourth rep. The fifth rep for Kotlaya is smooth and easy. 45 seconds left on the clock. Here's number six. Boy, he's on a roll, Jamie. He looks smooth, doesn't he? Looks like he's made for this event, Kuklaev. Seven clean reps for Mikhail Kuklaev with 30 seconds left on the clock. He needs four reps for a new world record. It's going to be very tough. Three reps will tie the world record. Well, the clock's ticking. I think he's let too much time run away here, Kuklaev. Maybe he's going off for two now if he rushes. That's one. There's his eighth rep. 11 seconds left. Can he get one more? There's number nine. He's got to be quick if he wants to tie 10, and time will run out on Mikhail Kakayev. Nine repetition. Well, Mikhail betters his previous record of eight, but it's not enough to catch Sidrunas Savikas who set the pace with a new world record of 10 repetitions. Well, Mikhail Kuklaev does not have the world record anymore, but he will pick up some second place points, currently tied with Bart Felix of Grenada, nine repetition. Poland's Robert Szepanski steps up. He needs to take his game up a notch. This guy has seen a heap of competition in the last eight months or so and really has come through. He's shown that he belongs in the top 16 in the world. Robert Szepanski has all these competitions, took anything out of him. It doesn't look like it so far, but if there's a weak link, the deadlift will find it, Doug. Ready, lift. Very muscular guy, Robert Szepanski. Two quick repetitions. Well, here's a guy that's giving away a lot of body weight, but he's really fighting here against some of these big guys. Four repetitions for Robert Chopansky. Chopansky looking to move up to the middle of the pack with his fifth repetition. This could give him some much-needed points in the standing. Well, he's got 30 seconds left here. Robert Szepanski takes a break. He knows another rep would move him up the field considerably here. Very muscular arm, Szepanski. You can see when the weight goes on, you can see the veins bulging in the bicep, the strain he's under around the shoulders and arms. Here he goes now, 10 seconds left. Chapansky looking for number six. Can he rip it out? Yes, he does. Chapansky now has time for rep number seven. Going after the second one in 15 seconds. Robert Chapansky does it. What a second effort from the Polish strongman. Yeah, we just see after this break, regains his composure, takes in some air and just fires out another quick two repetitions and that's going to move Robert up the field considerably. Raymond Bergmanis of Latvia, the final man with an opportunity to break the world record held by Sadruna Savickis. Yeah, here's another guy, Bergmanis, that likes the deadlift. We could see him move up the field here, Ray. Are you ready? Lift. Wow, that looked very easy then for Raymond Bergmanis. Two quick reps from Ray Bergmanis. Number three. Bergmanis on his fifth rep, and that's good. 50 seconds left. This could be good. There's number six. Bergmanis. Good again for number seven. One more will put him in the top three. There's eight. Still plenty of time left, Jamie. Yes, he's got enough time to get 10 here if he wants. 
There's number nine for Raymond Bartmanis. He's got enough time. He's got 15 seconds left. What's he got left in the tank? Can he equal Savickas here? It's now another for Ray Bergmanis. The clock's ticking down. Five seconds left. Bergmanis trying to lock it out with two on the clock. Looking for the goal. Not good enough. He'll finish with nine. Well, if we just look at this last rep on the replay, you can see he's two or three inches short of locking out. He's looking for the signal. He's got to finish the lift. But Douglas Edmonds is not going to give nothing away here, and he runs out of time, and that's nine reps for Ray Bergmanis. What a show from Raymond Bergmanis. Nine repetition. <laughs> Through four events at the World Championships, the surprise is Vitas Placatus. Savickas leads the way with 55 points. Two and a half down. Blakaitis coming up on number three. He has the lead. Blakaitis comes out of nowhere in Conan's wheel. Here's Mark Felix of Grenada, 320 kilos, a 75 second time limit. Up and down he goes. This is for the record. Can Felix get it up? Can he get nine? A world record of nine repetitions for Mark Felix. There's three quick ones for Savickas. Will he try to track down Mark Felix's record? Savickas gets it up, locks it out. What a job from the big Z's of Jordan Savickas. The first four events of the World Championships have been decided. Two world records have fallen. Zadruna Savickas has dominated the field so far, winning two of the first four events. But fellow countryman Vitas Placatis is within range. Now, two more events will help decide the new world champion. The 320 kilo, 705 pound farmer's walk will prove overwhelming for these 16 strongmen. World records may shatter in the wheels overhead. Welcome to IFSA Strongman, home of the strongest athletes on the planet. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson. Joining me, former world champion Jamie Reeves. Jamie, tell me, what does it take to become a world champion? In Strongman, this brings all kinds of athletes together. Powerlifters, weightlifters, track and field. We're combining static strength with mobility, with explosiveness. We're looking for the decathlete of strength. Don't forget about heart and determination. The Farmer's Walk, a 75 second time limit, carrying 320 kilos or 705 pounds. The current world champion takes on a former world champion, one of the most recognizable faces in Strongman. The Farmer's Walk, a 75 second time limit, a 50 meter course, and here's your current world record holder, Magnus Samuelson of Sweden. 62.78 seconds, but Jamie's going against Basil Vereschuk, who may just indeed break that record here today. Watching him warm up in the background, he seemed very limber, so we'll have to wait and see if Vereschuk is up to his game. And the other question here, can Samuelson break his own world record? But Vereschuk looks like he's taking it to Samuelson here. He's sure head, head, head to head. Samuelson with a put down at the midway point. Vereschuk with a put down just before the turn. Remember these implements do 160 kilograms each. Vereschuk the first to make the turn and head back for the final 25 meters. Well, he's really taking it to the world record holder here, Vereschuk. 
Samuelson looking to grip it up again. Gets it up. And will try for the turn. He's got to make the turn a complete turn. No reverse turns are allowed in this competition. Matuschuk with a put down at the midway point of the final 25 meters. That's only 12 and a half meters to go. And 20 seconds, Doug, to complete that 12 and a half meters. The clock's ticking away. This is all about grip strength and back strength now. That is Chuck into the final 10 meters with 10 seconds left on the clock. Will he have enough time to finish the course? Samuelson definitely won't finish. That is Chuck will give it one more try, but the clock will expire. Take a look at that on the replay, Jamie. The way both guys came out of the gate and they had good pace. They did it indeed. It was head to head going down the first lap. Valaschuk takes an early lead, but then fatigue sets into the grit. They can't hold them, and they're just fighting for every meter after that. Vasil Valaschuk, a distance of 41.4 meters, and Magnus Samuelson, the world record holder, only 35.2 meters. USA's Wolfman, Finland's Beach Boy, going head to head, battling it out in the farmer's walk. That brings up Finland's Tommy Lota and American Philip Fister. It is Phil Fister. This is his favorite event, the Farmer's Walk. Phil Fister has probably the largest hands in IFSA. Yeah, the hands, his hands are huge. His fingers, look, it looks just like he's got a bunch of bananas hanging off his wrist. Here they go. Fister's got it up and he's out of the gate quickly. Lota, a couple of steps behind. Fister doing a good job coming up to the 10 meter mark. Passing now the midway point. Lota having all sorts of difficulty at five meters. Fister well, making the first turn. We said Fister would be good at this event and he is. He's even making the turn. He puts them down for a rest now. Maybe Fister will use the time and then try and go back on the second lap all in one goal. He knows he's going to have a four good events now, Fister. Lota in all sorts of difficulty, has not even made it to the midway point of the first lap. Fister picks it up. He's now through the halfway part of the second lap. Fister coming down to the final 10 meters. What a job by Philip Fister of the United States. Well, can Phil Fister complete this course? He's got 10 meters to go. Five meters to go. Big Phil Fister. And Puts he's down, down again. Fister, only a few meters from the finish line. Phil Fister has taken the lead in the farmer's walk, a distance of 45.4 meters. Tony Lota of Finland, only 12.6 meters. My name is Jeff Dolan. I'm from Milton, Saskatchewan. I'm 31 years old. Being here in Quebec means a lot to me, not only because it's the world championship, but it's because I'm Canadian and we're on my home soil. When they announce my name, if, uh, if I get any kind of reaction, that'll be good, but uh, hopefully it's a, a favorable one. I'm here to lay it on the line for uh, the show in Canada that uh, we do have good strength athletes here, and it's gonna be bone chilling. This is a star-studded field. Like, if you look at the list, it reads as the who's who of top strongman. I'm at the point in my career where I need to stop idolizing these guys and aspiring to be like them. It's like, it's time to kick their ass to world championships. It's, uh, I don't care who they are. I'm laying it all on the line, and because I'm on my home country, I can't get walked over here. Quebec City is the proud host to the IFSA World Championship. My name is Andres Muromas. I come from Estonia and I am 26 year old. I work in the Estonian police, maybe the strongest police in the world. Then I was in the World Championships in eighth place in last year and lots of uh, people know me after that. I hope it's this year I get a better place than last year. Canada's best strongman against Estonia's top strongman, Mirabets Dolan.
27 year old Andrus Muttermet, 30 year old Canadian Jeff Dolan going head to head. And it's all going to come down to whether Dolan can hang on to the implements because Muttermet loves this event. Muttermet, we know, has one of the strongest grips in the world. And this is one guy that could complete this course here, Muttermet. Dolan with a quick put down. Muttermet's coming up to the midway point of the first lap. Look at the grip strength on Andrus Muramets of Estonia. We know he's got a phenomenal grip, Muramets. He's not even bothering to put the implements down. He's going back on the second lap. Look at Muramets with 50 seconds left on the clock. Will he challenge the world record? Muramets with a put down, 10 meters to go. Well, he's got the world record in his sights now, Doug. Here he goes, he's up again. Just 10 meters left, Muttermet looking to the finish line. And another put down with five meters to go. Dolan struggling to get past the midway point of the first lap. Moving up on the 20 meter mark, he hasn't made the first turn. Muttermet has the implements up. A few more steps to the finish line, possibly a world record time. Andrus Muttermet puts down. Fantastic performance from Muramet there. Jeff Dolan walking away, the clock's beating. 50 meters for Andres Muramets. Andres Muramets takes the lead in the farmer's walk. Just a half a second off a world record pace. 63.62 seconds, and he's chatting with Tammy. Very good, so you're gonna pull your placing up from seventh place? I hope. Good luck. The legendary Latvian strongman taking on the current leader at the world championships. Bergmanis Savickas. Well, the veteran, 39-year-old Raymond Bergmanis, and the current leader of the pack, Zadruna Savickas, going head-to-head, -head, number one and number two in the Farmer's Walk. This should be a great event, Jamie, watching these guys. Yeah, can Bergmanis take Savickas' scalp in on the Farmer's Walk? I know he'd love to. This is one of Ray's favorite events, too. The heavy farmer's walk, but that man, Savickas, 170 kilograms body weight, a giant of a man. Always seems to be able to rise to the occasion. Does the big scene, Zadruna Savickas. Kurt Manis quickly out of the game. Savickas with a late pickup, but he's gathering speed through the first 10 meters. Quick put down from Savickas. Kurt Manis. A put down just past 15 meters. Well, this doesn't look good for Savickas. He's down after around 12 meters. The pickup should be no problem for Savickas, but holding on, it looks like he's struggling with his grip. Both men with a put down once again. Bergman is still holding the lead as he makes the turn after 25 meters. Well, Savickas is looking at his hand. I wonder if he's torn a callus or he's got some grip problems. But there's only 30 seconds left now. And is, the first, is this the first chink we've seen in Savickas' armor, Doug? Yeah, he's finally caught up to Ray Bergmanis, but another put down, and Bergmanis will set things up with 20 seconds to go. Well, Savickas has got a mountain to climb here. He's only got 10 seconds left, and he's going to finish well down the field here. Bergmana still ahead of Savickas, and that could separate a few points in the standings. Ray Bergmana, as time expires, will take the win over the big Z, Zadruna Savickas. Let's just take another look at that start. Both men come out, and surprisingly, after around 12 meters, Savickas is down, and that's just the start of his problems on this farmer's walk. Well, maybe the big Z, Zadruna Savickas, is human after all through five events at the World Championships. A three-point lead for Savickas over Bergmanis. Coming up, the wheels overhead. 155 kilos, 342 pounds. How many reps in 75 seconds? He's already five meters from the line. This is a fantastic time. Savickas just set a new world record. Savickas gets it up, locks it out. What a job from the big Z's of Jonas Savickas. It's the world championships. You know, it's the top of the top.
Coming out here, you're definitely starstruck. <laughs> I mean, I've been watching these guys on TV for years. These are the best of the best. And I don't think that there's one guy that can run away with this. You know, it's, it's gonna be a, an intense battle to the last event. Oh, I've got everything to prove. You know, I'm probably the joke right now that why the hell is this guy here? <laughs> you know, I can only go up, let's put it that way. I'm at the bottom, now I gotta work my way to the top. Put forth everything you've got and come out on top. That's the reason we're here. The wheels overhead, 155 kilograms, 342 pounds, total repetitions. The rookie sensation and the pride of Houston, Texas. American Travis Ortmeyer steps up to take on Apollon's wheels, 155 kilos, a 90 second time limit. How many times can you press it out at the top? That's a continental. Nice job from Mortmeyer. Pressing it out the 155 for the first rep. That's a good start from Mortmeyer. Once again, struggling on the clean, but it's there. Has he got the strength to lock? Yes, he has. Two reps for Travis Ortmeyer of Houston, Texas. Rechalking now. Asking the crowd if they want to see one more. Around 45 seconds left on the clock for Ortmeier. Unable to get his wrist underneath the bar. This clean takes so much energy. Saps the lifter's strength. But Ortmeier's a fighter, as you can see here. What a job to get that one up, Ortmeier. Can he have the strength left to press it out? No! Travis Ortmeier cannot press out rep number three. Well, that's a tremendous effort from Travis Ortmeier. One of the youngest guys here, but doing a fantastic job. Travis Ortmeier finishing with two reps, currently tied for the lead with Jeff Dolan. He's on the floor with Tammy Tyson. Travis, what was going through your head? You looked so focused. That's the only way I can keep up with these guys is mental power, you know. They're way ahead of me on brute strength. I just gotta do everything I can to stay in. Good job. Three world records, no world title yet. Well, Satruna Savickas of Lithuania is the current overall leader and has been dominating events all year long. The world record sits at five repetitions by Mikhail Kokliev. Well, Savikas has definitely got the pressing power. Wow, look at that. And he can clean this weight as well. Look at Savikas. Two quick reps. Well, when it comes to static strength, Savikas is in a class of his own here. The world record sits at five, and that's number three. Savickis, under 60 seconds on the clock. Looking for number four, and there it is. He's one off tying the record. Still plenty of time left on the clock, Jamie. Yeah, it looks very comfortable here, Savickis. He gets another one. He can take an extended break and go after the world record, which he can. There's his fifth one. Now he's going to chalk up. Still 30 seconds on the clock for the big man, the big Z, Zadruna Savickis. Well, this is what we wanted to see. Plenty of records. The crowd is on their feet. Savickas gets it up. There's a world record. Six repetitions. He's got enough time for one more if he chooses. And he's going after it. Savickas, 13 seconds on the clock. There's number seven. Fantastic performance by Savickas. Will he push out number eight? Hey, for good measure. There's some distance between Zadruna Savickas and the rest of the field. Well, the crowd are on the feet for Savickas. They appreciate that fantastic feat of strength from the big Lithuanian. That's why he's number one in the world this year.
a new world record. Well, we see after number seven, and he's got five seconds left, and that's not enough for Savikas. He rips up another rep, presses it, and that's a phenomenal record for Savikas. Sadruna Savikas has thrown down the gauntlet at the World Championships. He's on the floor with Tammy Tyson. A new world record once again. Uh, I'm very happy, but a lot of guys go after me in this event, and I'm not sure that I will keep this record. Thank you. Zadruna Savika shattering the world record with eight repetitions in the wheels overhead. What a superb effort. Can anyone stop Zadruna Savika, the Estonian policeman Muramet, the world champion Vereschuk, or the man whose record just fell, Kuklaev? Now the pressure is on the former world record holder here, Mikhail Kokleev, the super heavyweight Olympic lifting champion of Russia. But these wheels are so awkward, they're not balanced, there's no flex in the bar, but watch this technique. There we go, and he missed it. That's better from Kokleev, that's what we expected. There's his first rep. Kokleev has to straighten out the wheels now. Once again, nice clean. Second rep. If he does more than three, that could be devastating to Raymond Sporkmanis, who currently sits in second place in this event and second place overall. There is his third rep to Ty Burkmanis. Well, one thing's for sure, he's not going to catch Savikas at this pace, but he can put daylight in between himself and some of the other lifters. Four reps with 35 seconds left on the clock. Well, he's wasting time here, Kokleev. Only 20 seconds left on the clock, maybe enough time for two quick reps. Currently sits at four. That repetition will tie him with his personal best of five reps. But that's it, the time has run out for Kokleev. But that effort puts him in second place behind the new world record holder, Zedrunas Savikas. The world champion running out of time to hang on to his crown. At 28 years of age, there is your current world champion, Vasil Vereschuk. Vereschuk needs a massive effort here with any hope of hanging on to his world title. Let's see what he can do now on the wheels, 155 kilograms. The clock's been set at 90 seconds. Vereschuk steps up to the pollen wheels. Got that to the shoulder and presses out his first rep. That looked fairly easy, Jamie. He did the referees telling him not to drop the weight to bring it down under control? Number two for Vetistra. Once again, a reverse grip, but a good clean from Vetistra. The clean looks the hardest part. The press looks relatively easy. Can he catch Kokleyev on five? Here's number four. That is number four, and that will drop Raymond Sporkmanis down to fourth spot. On this event, that is Chuck. Moves into number five to tie Kokleyev. He's saying to the referees that five. He knows one more, and he'll beat Kokleyev here. 30 seconds on the clock for Vereschuk. Vasil stepping up. Gets it to the shoulders. Will he press out number six? Here it comes. Vasil Vereschuk of the Ukraine. Good with six reps. Steps the finger up in the air, pointing to the crowd. Still with 10 seconds left on the clock. Will he go for number seven? Well, he's going to run out of time here. The seventh rep is Vasil Vereschuk. Six big repetitions. 
putting him in second spot behind the world record holder, Zadruna Savikis. We look at his sixth threat here once again. Reverse grip. Plenty of power up to the shoulders. And the press is no problem for Varys Chuk. Opportunity missed one more time for the world champion. The strongest Estonian police officer gets his chance. 26-year-old Andrus Mermets, the final competitor to take on the wheels overhead. 155 kilos, 342 pounds, 90-second time limit. Nice opening lift there for Mermets. Didn't look as comfortable as some of the other guys, but he's on the scoreboard. And a very uncontrolled put down, though, Jamie. Yet a lot of the lifters here don't seem to be controlling the weight down. The referee seems to be letting them get away with it. Muramex for number three. Good clean. Nice job to get underneath the weight and press it out. Forty-five seconds left here for Muramex. Coming off of winning the farmers' walk. Every competitor who gets past Ray Bergmanis' three repetitions pushes Bergmanis farther away from Savickas. There's number four. Well, the wheels are getting such a pounding here. You can see flat spots appearing on the wheels where they've been dropped from around seven feet in height. Will Budovets get his fifth rep? Interesting that he goes for the splits when he makes the clean. Yeah, it's an effective technique, though. That's five reps for Muramets. Andrus Muramets. A solid effort with five repetitions. That does it for the wheels overhead. After six events, a log jam, including Kaklaev and Muramets. Vasil Vereschuk looking to track down the leader, Savikas, and keep his crown. Andrus Muramets, the only man to complete the farmer's walk here at the World Championships in Quebec City, virtually running his way through the complete court. What an effort from the big Estonian. And Zatruna Savikas, what else can be said? Four world records. He pressed his way to the top of the leaderboard. But can he hang on? Next time, we crown a champion. We have witnessed six World Championship events here in Quebec City, Canada. They've been dominated by one man, the Big Z. Zadruna Savickas has shattered three world records at this World Championship and has his sights on his first championship title. Will Savickas hold on to his domination or will the current world champion, Vasil Vereschuk, have what it takes to be named the strongest man? The dawn of a new era of strongmen begins with three tournaments leading up to the ultimate world championship, all coming together to battle it out from all corners of the globe. The International Federation of Strength Athletes has brought together men representing 35 countries. Through each grueling competition, they will determine once and for all who is the strongest man. Welcome to picturesque and historic Quebec City, Canada. This is the IFSA World Championships of Strongman. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson. Joining me, my partner, former world champion, Jamie Reeves. Jamie, this should be a colossal battle. Can anyone stop Sadruna Savickas? Well, Phil Fister, the giant American, six foot five, 330 pounds, destroyed everybody at the Pan Americans. Now, East meets West. Savickas against Fister, and don't forget the world champion, Barris Chuk. This should be one of the best battles of the year. The shield carry, 182 and a half kilos, 400 pounds in a 75 second time limit. Maximus, the gladiator, head to head. This is the IMSA shield carry, weighing 182 and a half kilos. Sitting on a pedestal, 
The athletes lift it up, and it is for distance, total distance. The world record is held by Andrus Mutermets, just over 96 meters. Carl Gillingham, Robert Chapansky. Gillingham having trouble corralling the weight. That shoulder has to come into play, Jamie. Yeah, it must be painful, and Chapansky's left bicep is heavily strapped. Chapansky makes the first turn at 25 meters. Gillingham makes the turn as well. Chapansky heading back. And this is not about speed, it's who can carry the shield the greater distance. Kapansky coming up on 75 meters. Well, I'll Gillingham's down. down. 50 meters, Shapansky's coming back. Can he do 100 meters here, Shapansky? This would be a new world record, Robert Shapansky coming toward the 100 meter barrier through 95. This is a new world record for Poland's Robert Shapansky. Great performance there from Shapansky. 100 meters flat there. Shattering the world record set by Estonia's Andrus Muramets back in Riga, Latvia. Robert Chapansky setting a new world record in the shield carry. 100 meters knocking off the world record of Andrus Muramets of 96 meters. He's on the floor with Tammy Tyson. A new world record. Robert, tell us how you feel. <sighs> yes, okay. Uh, I'm satisfied with my result. Thank you. The former champion from Sweden and the hometown hero get set to do battle. Sweden's Magnus Samuelsson, Canada's Jeff Dolan head to head. And a point and a half only separates these two guys in the standings. Well, this is usually a good event for Samuelsson. But he looks like he's struggling to pick up. Both guys are up. Samuelson electing not to even lock his arms there. Just carry it on bicep strength alone. Dolan on the other end. Looks like he's locked his fingers and seems to have got the better grip. That's got to fatigue. Got to fatigue Samuelson's arms just going with biceps only. But he's coming up on the 50 meter barrier. Dolan just slightly behind. Well, he's starting to drop a little bit now for Magnus. Starting to drop now for Jeff Dolan, too. Samuelson. Dolan drops at 60 meters. Samuelson coming up on 75 meters, struggling to make the turn. He does so and heads back. Magnus Samuelson, as the weight slides down his body, just one step after another, getting precious points in the standings for the big Swede. Past the 80 meter mark was Magnus Samuelson before he put down. Yes, we can see the shield slipping down here. But Magnus electing to hold it, taking little strides and getting as much distance as he can. Magnus Samuelson with a great effort, 80.65 meters. Jeff Dolan of Canada, 60.35 meters. Poland's Robert Chapansky sets a new standard for the world record in the IPSA Shield carry. But there are still some of the world's greatest athletes to come. They may step up and steal his thunder. Quebec City is the proud host to the IPSA World Championships. American Travis Ortmeier, Lithuanian, Vitas Bakaitis, battle the IPSA Shield carry. Travis Ortmeier. Going against Vitas Blakaitis, and Blakaitis has had a big tournament thus far. The key in this event for these two guys, carry the shield high on the chest. Yes, especially for Blakaitis. He's not got the longest arms, Doug. He's got to get it high and really lock those fingers like that if he can. And keep that position as long as possible. Ortmeier with a difficult pickup. And as quickly out of the gate as Travis Ortmeier. Blakaitis. Trying to keep the implement as high as possible. Both guys with a good grip. Well, one thing about Travis Ortmeier, he's very, very fit. 
strong arms and he looks very comfortable here, Altmaier, coming up to 50 meters. Making the turn, Blaketis heading up for 50 meters as well. Blaketis, the implement starting to slip down his chest. Ortmeier starting to slow up as he moves towards 75 meters. Travis Ortmeier. Struggling to get every meter and drops just past 80. Venus Blaketis. He drops and falls to the floor after going around the mark at 75 meters. Well, a good effort from both guys there. And that's probably Travis Ortmeier's best showing so far. Travis Ortmeier of the USA, 80.6 meters. Venus Plakaitis of Lithuania, 76.45 meters. That's Travis Ortmeier's best event so far. The overall leader, the current world champion, one more time. These two men stand first and second in the overall standings. Zedruna Savikas has an eight-point lead over Vasil Vedaschuk, but Vedaschuk needs a distance of over 50 meters to put some points between he and Raymond Borgmanis. Well, it's the current champion against the heir apparent here. Both evenly paced, going down. Both making the turn at the same time here. Two great athletes halfway through their second lap. Venuschuk on the right of your screen. Zubik is on the left. Well, are they playing a game against each other here? To see who drops first. At 50 meters. Venuschuk looking over at Savikas. Savikas plodding on with his head down. But both guys starting to slow now. Zavikas coming to a halt. So is Venuschuk. Will they both make 75 meters? Venuschuk makes it. Zavikas puts down Venuschuk. Well, Venuschuk's keeping going now. He knows Zavikas is down. Venuschuk puts down right before 85 meters. Well, let's just take another look at that here. Both guys going head to head. Number one and two in this competition. And Vanischuk comes out tops on the shield carry. Vanischuk has assured himself of some second place points, while Savikis should remain in top spot. Sadruna Savikis with a distance of 75 meters, while current champion Vasil Vanischuk posts a distance of 83.90 meters. The Atlas Stone. The final event of the World Championships in Quebec City. Who will go home with the title of World Champion? And who will just go home? My name is Jeff Dolan. I'm from Milton, Saskatchewan. I'm 31 years old. Being here in Quebec means a lot to me, not only because it's the World Championship, it's because I'm Canadian and we're on my home soil, so it's uh, especially big to me. I've really been working hard at trying to be well-rounded, but I'd still have to say I excel at the Atlas Stones. It's one of the first things you see, you notice on television when you're getting into the sport. You uh, save your money to get your first set, you know, get somebody to make one for you. That's one of the things I was, felt most accomplished about when I could finally do all the stones and you know, have them in my training equipment. The Atlas Stones, five stones in under 90 seconds, starting at 140 kilos, 309 pounds, finishing at 180 kilos, 398 pounds. Jeff Dolan at the World Championships on his home soil. Trying to finish off with the MHP Atlas Stones in style. Dolan gets the first stone up, pushes it into the receptacle. Yeah, Dolan electing to go with no T-shirt here. So the stone sticks to his chest and doing a good job so far. Looks like he's dislocated a finger or... Looks like Jeff's really injured his finger here. My finger broke off the top. 
Jeff Dolan got a finger caught in the second stone that he was putting up. Well, that's a disaster for Jeff. It looks like he's broken his finger. Jamie, take a look at that one more time. Jeff Dolan, after the second stone, winces in pain. Yes, I think it happened on the second stone. Jeff caught his finger, runs on to the third, but the adrenaline's pumping so fast, he probably didn't notice he broke his finger until he got to that third stone. A horrible turn of events for Canadian Jeff Dolan on the MHP Atlas Stones. One more event for the rookie. It's his specialty. Can Travis Ortmeier put aside what happened to Jeff Dolan? The intense determination on his face as he moves towards stone number one, coming in at 140 kilos. Pass pick up from Ortmeier. Good first stone, moving quickly on to number two here. Two very quick stones from American Travis Ortmeier. Number three. At 160, that's up and on. Well, Ortmeier's flying around here now. A little bit heavier now, but he's on to the 180 already. Four quick stones to the credit of Travis Ortmeier. He's got the fifth one left, up and on top. What a great effort from Travis Ortmeier. He's happy with that. He knows he's got a good time there, Ortmeier. A lot of potential in this young man. A very, very big effort from Travis Ortmeier. Ortmeier, five stones in 28.49 seconds. That is one of the quickest times. Let's just look at that again, Doug. Ortmeier puts the stone on, he jumps onto the next stone. No hesitation at all. And that's one of the fastest times we've ever seen. Travis Ortmeier setting a new standard in the MHP Atlas Stones here at the World Championships in Quebec City. Five stones, 28.49 seconds. And he's got to be happy to finish the World Championships in style. On the floor with Tammy Tyson. You set that benchmark here. How does that feel? That feels great. That's my signature event. I came against the best in the world. Hopefully, I'll come out on top. And those stones are bigger than before, aren't they? How did it feel? About the same. You know, a stone's a stone. When you're in the middle of it, you don't, you don't tell. Good job. Congratulations. Solid effort from Travis Ortmeier. All five stones, 28.49 seconds. Next up, the former world champion and the king of the Atlas Stone. This is Sweden's Magnus Samuelsson stepping up. Well, Magnus was known as king of the stones. Can he regain that crown here? He's just seen Ortmeier absolutely fly around. 150 is up and on. Now to the third stone, 160 kilo. Little stutter there on stone number three. I don't think he's as quick as Ortmeier so far. Now to the goes on number five. Samuelson gets the fifth stone lapped. Making sure gets it to the edge, puts it on, turns to the crowd and says, yeah, good job. Well, here we see the old champion and the one-time king of the stones, Magnus Samuelson, lifting up these five championship stones. But will he keep the title of king of the stones? Magnus Samuelson, all five stones, just off the pace of Travis Ortmeier, 31.58 seconds. Can Kuklaya leap from third to first spot? Will Vetusjuk hold on to his title? Has Savickas done enough to take the title back to Lithuania? The Atlas Stones hold the key. Quebec City is the proud host to the IFSA World Championship. A field of 16 men came to Canada. Three remain. Only one will be crowned world champion. The first shot goes to the young Russian. The final event of the day for Russia's Mikhail Kokleyev. Remember, this guy has only been in strongman. 
for seven months and he's already in third spot. He'd love to go home to Russia with a podium finish. The first MHP Atlas Stone goes up. Kukliev on to number two, 150 kilo. No problem so far for the big Russian weightlifter. He needs to finish off at least three stones in 34.71, which he's done to maintain a podium finish. Well, Kokleyev's a fighter. He'll want to put all five stones in here. This is the most exciting talent we've seen for a long time in strongman Kokleyev. And that's the reason why. Five stones. Mikhail Kokleyev, all five stones, stopping the clock. What an excellent effort. Third place, he says to the camera and crowd. I'm on the podium, that's what he came here for. Kokleyev, running a victory lap at five stones, 40.99 seconds. That's a podium finish for the rookie Russian. Mikhail Kokleyev finishing off all five stones, guarantees himself a spot on the podium. Gotta be a happy man standing with Tammy. Third place, are you excited? Yeah, <laughs> I don't, don't have uh, words now. I'm happy. Congratulations. It's, it's my first uh, world championship. <laughs> Strong man. I'm happy. The title holder has one chance left to hold his crown. We're down to two competitors, the current champion, Vasil Vereschuk, and the man who looks to take his crown away, Sadruna Savica. If he gets a good time here, Puts the pressure on Savikas. Varaschuk's been in this position before. He doesn't suffer with nerves. He needs a very workmanlike job here, but he also needs a very fast time. Savikas holds a two-point advantage over Varaschuk in this final event. It all comes down to the MHP Atlas Stones for the top two competitors. Varaschuk quickly out of the gate, and stone number one rolls up and is on. Very slow with this second one, Varaschuk. 150 and kilos, and he drops it. He can't drop it again, remember, he's got to go in this time. On to stone number three, with each stone up and on, he's putting more pressure on Sadruna Savickas to come through. Maybe that injured bicep is playing a part, picking that stone up. He's Remember, dropped. he tore it off at the Arnold. He dropped stone number four one, so he's got one crack at it right here. It's up and on. Now to stone number five. That is Chuck. If he gets five stones, Doug, he puts pressure on Savikas. Savikas has got to get five then and not make any drops. But this is a crucial stone now for Varas, Chuck. 90-second time limit. Vasil Vereschuk. Having all sorts of difficulty getting any daylight under stone number five. Gets it locked. Gets the grip and he's going to roll it up the chest and on to the edge. Can't hang on to it. Does he have anything left, Jamie, to get a second crack at stone number five? I don't think so. I think that's is all any signaling. No. I've had enough. He's got to wait and see now if Savikas gets four faster stones or pops all five in. Well, he's left a crack in the door for Sadruna Savikas to take his championship away. We'll see if Savikas can crash through that opening. We see here on the replay on the fourth stone, he drops it. It doesn't look comfortable on these stones. Goes on to number five. Just gets it up off the floor, and then waves, enough's enough. Vasil Vereschuk, four stones in 44.88 seconds. Is that good enough to take away the championship? Back home to the Ukraine for the second consecutive year. Is the crown being fitted for a new champion? Uh, looks 
The final competitor of the IMSA World Championships here in Quebec City, Canada. He's been the star all week long, all tournament long, all year long. This is Lithuania Zadruna Savikis. He needs to beat four stones in 44.88 seconds to be crowned the new world champion. There's pressure on Savikas here. He can't make any mistakes. Wow, and that one went in with six inches to spare, Doug. You know the juices are flowing for Savikas. There's two quick stones. At 160, number three goes up in style. Sadruna Savikas. There's number four, and that virtually guarantees him the world championships. Savikas should put up stone number five with relative ease. That is your new world champion, Lithuania Sadruna Savikas. Fantastic there. Finishes on five stones. This man has been shining all through this competition with world records and the world championship is going back to Lithuania with Zygrunas Savikas. Savikas, five stones at 31.46 seconds, so he didn't just break open the crack of the door, he smashed the door down and took the championship home. Jamie, this is something that Savik has been wanting for years now. Yes, he deserves it. Savikas has been up there. Silver medalist before, silver medalist powerlifting, a three-time Arnold Classic winner, and now the crown that he wanted most, the IFSA World Championship. He's been so close before, but this time could not be stopped leading the whole world championships here in Quebec City, Canada, from start to finish. Zadruna Savikis. What a show from the Big Z. Let's take a look at the final standings from the IFSA World Championships here in Quebec City. Finishing off in sixth place, American Philip Pfister with 82 and a half points. Ravensburg Manas at 84 and a half takes fifth spot. Andrus Muttermetz of Estonia, a stellar effort at 86 points. Mikhail Kokliev, 93 and a half points. The knocked off champion would be Vasil Vereschuk of the Ukraine. Tried to regain the title, but couldn't take it away from the champion, Sadruna Savikis. 103 points out of a possible 128. A huge effort from the big Lithuanian. He is your world champion. Congratulations. Thank you. I am feeling very happy. Finally, I won world championship. This year was very good for me. I won all competition and in the end of the season I won World Championship. And you've been competing for how many years? I compete 14 years and finally I am World Champion. They came from every corner of the world. After four epic battles, three men stand tall. The young Russian Mikhail Kuklaev, only seven months into his strongman career. The dethroned champion, Ukraine's Vasil Vereschuk, was second only to one man, Zadruna Savikis, who after 14 years of hard work, sweat and sacrifice, goes home to Lithuania with four world records and one world championship.